Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation. I'm Dr. Anna Ng. My presentation is Reliability and Validity of Measuring Instruments of Inclusive Practice in Higher Education in Hong Kong. Past research on students with uh, SEN focus on primary and secondary schools and the outcome measures of inclusive education research in the district is related to self-esteem, social relationship, as well as effective well-being. Recent years, in recent years, the uh, the number of SEN, um, um, the number of students of SEN in higher education increased um, from 818 in 2017 to more than 1,000 in 2020. So the increase is around 46%. So um, a set of measures on psychological adjustments of students of SEN in higher education is needed. We choose um, three, uh, five measures uh, to be validated, cross-validated in the study. The first one is core values of inclusive education. Second is the attitude towards inclusive education. And third is interaction with people with disabilities. And fifth, the fourth, we choose uh, the PIQ, perceived inclusive questionnaire. And the fifth one is academic motivation scale, AMS. The four, first four scales, uh, they are all six point scales items. And then the fifth one, AMS, can, um, contains seven point scale. For CVIE, uh, these are items uh, um, because it's related to core value. So there are some sample items highlighted here. Uh, for instance, human rights is um, to learn in, it is the human rights for people, for students to learn in regular class and then, uh, or including uh, students of SEN in the same class is symbol of civilization or if we exclude SEN is discriminatory. So these are also six point scale and score range is from five to 30, five to 30. Higher score means the value of IE is more strongly hold. And attitude towards IE, ATIE um, consists of eight to 10 items. So eight, um, four items is related to belief and then the other four items is related to feelings towards inclusive education. And interaction with people for, with disabilities, the IPD. So the original IPD consists of 20 items. And then there are also six point scale item. The higher the score means the more negative is the interaction with people with disability. And uh, we have chosen um, the first factor um, to be used in the study, and they consist of six items. So instead of using the 20 of them, we have chosen six items. So the discomfort feeling when interacting with people with disability is some sample items. And then we use in the present study as a short version of IPD. Our main focus is regard um, regards to the disability for people when they interact with people with disabilities. And PIQ, developed by the NEST, uh, includes uh, 12 items and three of skills, school well-being, social inclusion, academic self-concept. And of course, because we are doing this in the college level, so we change the word school into college and school word into uh, academic performance. Again, the PIQ is six item. The higher the score means better. Students are being um, adjusted in college life. The AMS, the Academic Motivation Scale, um, consists of three dimensions. Intrinsic motivation, so they like learning intrinsically, or extrinsic motivation, they like learning because of other purposes. And a motivation means they have no motivation to learn. And these are some um, examples. So intrinsic motivation includes also free soft skills, 
to know, to accomplish, as well as to experience the simulation. And then we have extreme motivation, also three subscales, each with four items. A part is the identified for values or importance of learning, of learning, and then interject personalized action or to avoid anxiety. And then the external one is to get external reward. And then a motivation, there are four items, um, whether they are lack of extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. So for example, the item is, I can't understand what I'm doing in school. For our case, because we're using it to be used in the college, so we say, I can't understand what I'm doing in college. This scale is seven point scale. So one represent not at all correspond, four represent correspond moderacy, and seven means exactly correspond to their feeling. So the higher scores represent higher level of motivation of the respective scale. Convergent measures. So we choose the criteria measures for testing the validity of relative measurement, um, measuring instruments. Um, for instance, we may uh, predict that, um, expect that the PIQ, the perception of inclusive questionnaire, some items, for instance, school well-being, may be positively related to self-esteem and negatively related to psychological dis distress scale. So we would use this criteria, use these two scales as a criteria measure to see the validity and check out the validity of this uh, measurement. So according to some literature, we will find that um, the sample size of validation study should be at least uh, um, 84. So in our study, in fact, we have chosen 90. Uh, we, we at least get uh, 90 respondents for this study. The mean age is 21.3 years, and then 70% of them are males, and 80%, um, 18, 20% of them were students with SEN. And then nine are with uh, learning and developmental disability, and four with physical and sensory impairments, and five with mental and emotional problems. So as you can see, um, the reliability of measure, um, these are the number of items. The item total score, so if we got at least 0 0.30 means the scale, uh, uh, the reliability is acceptable. So you can see the minimum score is uh, 0.46 and then uh, highest is, you know, uh, you can, as you can see, it's 0 uh, 86. So that means um, the re reliability of the measure uh, is set up and then also as you can see, the internal consistency, consistency of the items at least should be a 0 0.70. And then uh, we all, the score is higher uh, than uh, 0 0.70. That means uh, the internal consistency of these items are being set up as well. And then uh, for the academic motivation AMS as well. So as you can see, the item total, um, and then um, also the combo alpha, score is also uh, well established the VIPD of the measure. And what about the content validity? Um, we're talking about the item, whether they represent the domain, uh, they measure. So we'll check the content validity and then uh, the total score vary from zero to one. If uh, they choose the experts choose zero, that means not at all representative related to the measure. And then if, uh, they choose one is perfectly um, representative. So um, if we got a score of um, 0 0.8, 0 0.80, that means uh, this uh, content validity is built up. So these are the results of the content validity. Um, then we can see that uh, it ranges from uh, 0 0.86 to one. So that means these items, the validity of our chosen uh, scale is being set up. And then the contract validity as well uh, is being verified by confirmation of the expected relationships derived from theory of the contrast. For instance, it is expected that um, 
the academic self-concept as well as self-esteem is possibly related. If the data confirms this expected relationship, then we will say that it provides evidence for the construct validity of academic self-concept. So here comes the results. So you can see um, the correlation coefficient is uh, uh, quite high, 0.57 for the feelings and then um, 0.74 for belief uh, related to the uh, core values. So we can say that um, this um, uh, construct validity of um, the CI, CVIE as well as ATI is uh, can be um, provides evidence, right? Again, we can confirm this kind of validity. And then let's go to the perception of inclusive uh, questionnaire, the PIQ. Again, as you can see, we can find that, for instance, if the self-esteem is possibly related to the well-being, and then um, also um, the psychological distress, the cases, if uh, the college well-being is good, so it should be uh, negatively related to the psychological distress. So it's um, actually related to our expected relationship. That means, um, again, um, this uh, the construct validity of uh, PIQ is also being set up. And then also, what about the AMS? Well, it is expected that if intrinsic motivation is high, then the self-esteem is also high. So there's this, uh, it's expected that they have positive relationship. And then the a motivation should be negatively related to self-esteem as well as positively related to psychological distress. So if you are not motivated um, to study, that means we expect that the self-esteem may be lower. And then so high a, a motivation score may be related to the low self-esteem and then also related to the higher uh, psychological stress. And then it's also expected that extrinsic, extrinsic motivation is not significantly related to self-esteem or psychological distress. And then what's the result then? So the data, um, we find that in the data, you know, as you can see from this uh, um, table, from this table, we can see that intrinsic motivation is um, possibly related to B as uh, yes, F as a K S, K six, and negatively related to the psychological stress. That means if you have intrinsic motivation, and then the psychological psychological distress should be lower. So negative relationship, so it's negative point three six, and then extrinsic motivation as expected. There's no significant relationship uh, with. Uh, self-esteem as well as psychological uh, distress and a motivation. Again, you can see uh, a motivation is negatively related to the self-esteem and possibly related to the psychological distress. So um, our data reflects that uh, it is, uh, uh, the finding is, can confirm our ex expected relationship. That means uh, the construct validity of AMS, AMS can be verified. And so in conclusion, reliability, content validity, and construct validity can be confirmed. And then the measures developed in the Western culture or Western literature is applicable in Hong Kong as well as an Asian city. And of course, we can suggest further studies, test with test or alternative form of reliability is worth pursuing. Um, and then also the factor structure of measures may be examined with larger sample size, and then further studies to accumulate evidence on conversion as well as dis discrimination validity uh, can be uh, pursued. So these are the references. Thank you.